Hello everyone, my name is Bakul Soman and I am thrilled to welcome you to my brand new YouTube channel. On this channel, we'll be covering a whole host of topics, but primarily we will be working on one, how to become more effective communicators. Two, we will also be talking about how to master the English language because more and more in so many parts of the world, English has become critical right? We need to communicate more and more in English in a lot of different situations. So if that's what's been keeping you back from becoming confident and becoming um, effective in your communication, we got you covered. Three, we will also be working on self-improvement. I will be engaging on projects that are my own self-improvement. We will talk about ways um, to get you where you need to go in your journey of self-improvement. And toward that end, we will be talking about time management. We will be talking about organization tips. We will be talking about productivity hacks. We will be talking about mindset because that is such an important part of change and bringing about change. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am a speech language pathologist. And in my profession, I work with adults and I work with kids who have a wide range of um, skill sets and challenges and deficits. Some of the kids I work with might have autism or might have cerebral palsy and that impacts how they are able to use all the different parts that we need to engage with others well. It could be um, how they produce their sounds. It could be how they are able to use their body. It could be how they're able to organize their thoughts. So there are lots of things that go into effective communication and I work on getting them to improve in all those areas. So the net result is that they are able to get themselves be understood more successfully because that's the goal. I also work with adults and a lot of times I work with adults for whom English is a second language and they are working on various aspects of you know finessing and polishing their english it's not that they don't know how to speak english but they still feel that they are not able to communicate as well using english because there's various things that get in the way so as you can tell i am passionate about communication right that's what i do that is my bread and butter as a speech language pathologist and it's so important i feel like it truly is the essence of what it means to be human we have this innate need to engage with others, to connect with others. And when we do it well, when we engage successfully with others, we feel like we're connected with something bigger than ourselves. And that satisfies an innate desire that we have, this innate need to feel like you're part of something bigger than yourself. We are social animals at the end of the day. So you would think, given the amount of practice that we get, right, we're talking from pretty much the time we wake up to the time we go to bed, we're talking. You would think that with all this practice, we would all have become experts by now. Well, your experience as well as mine tells us that the answer to that is no, absolutely not. How many times do you come out of a conversation and feel like even though you were speaking the same language, there was no communication that happened, a miscommunication happened. There was a failure to communicate. There are reasons for that and there are ways to overcome it. So on this channel, we'll be talking about all of those. But we're not going to stop there. We're also going to work on getting you up to speed on using English to communicate. In today's world, English is the language of business. It's the language of money. So if you feel like you're not confident in your ability to speak English, you've come to the right place. We'll be exploring all kinds of learning resources. We'll have lots of interactive activities and we'll work on all aspects of the language. We'll work on vocabulary. We will work on grammar. We will work on uh, rhythm and intonation. We will work on a lot of underlying things that you don't even realize are in play when you're communicating in a different language. So if that's your goal to become more effective, while speaking in English, you've come to the right place, right? We will get you up to speed. And if that's what's holding you back from doing what you want to do, you will no longer have that excuse. As I mentioned earlier, self-improvement is going to be another big topic that we cover on my channel. We are all a work in progress. When we're kids, I don't think any kid is actually saying that to themselves, right? No 10 year old or five year old is going around saying, I'm a work in progress. 
but their self-identity isn't yet formed. It's very fluid. So when we're kids, we are more willing, more open to explore things, right? We are looking at what piques our interest? What are we good at? Oh, that is something I'm interested in. We give in to this curiosity. We follow it. We are okay with making mistakes. We're okay with failure. We're okay with not being competent because we're kids. Nobody expects that of us. However, as we get older, as we become adults, that identity gets frozen. And the older we get, the more frozen it seems to become. It's harder and harder to learn new things, it seems, when you get older, right? But whether it is because we don't have the underlying skill to do it anymore, or whether it is the fear that holds us back, that's a good question to ponder. And we will be doing some of that pondering as well. But the point is that as adults, we have certain specific things that we say, I do this, I do this well, I don't do this. I don't do this well. I'm not going to do it. On this channel, we are going to try and step outside that little box that we have created for ourselves. And we're going to work together on pursuing all those dreams that you have been keeping locked up inside you. All those thoughts and feelings like, oh, wouldn't it be great if I could have done that? Or I wish I had done that, but now it's too late, right? It's typically never too late. So we will be stepping outside of that box and going for it. On a side note, this YouTube channel is part of my self-growth. I've been meaning to do this for such a long time, but fear has always gotten in the way. It's not that the content is what scares me. I feel very confident about the content I'm putting forth, but the medium is new to me. So I worry about you know, my videos may not look very professional. The lighting may not be the best. Is the audio going to come out right? Um, all these fears have helped me back for a long time, but no more. I have decided that I'm going to put myself out there. It is a pretty vulnerable place because, you know, you don't, when you're learning something new, you don't feel very competent. For example, if I were going to be, let's say I'm learning Turkish. Um, I'm not going to sound very smart when I speak in Turkish when I'm first learning, right? Because my Turkish might be at a level of, I don't know, a three-year-old. And I'm probably not going to sound very smart when I use Turkish. So those are the kinds of fears that hold us back. But like I told myself this year, I said, I'm not going to let that fear hold me back. So this is me putting myself out there. Um, I love the content that I have in store for you. The medium I am working on, and I'm hoping that every video I learn how to do, you know, that part, the lighting, the scripting, the editing, I learn how to do it better, and my videos get better and better. And hopefully you can come along with me on this journey and, you know, see the difference, see my learning curve in progress. I'm super excited because, yeah, there's always the fear. When you do something new, you always have that fear, but there is always an excitement as well because you're learning a new skill and your brain loves that. So there's all these neurons that are firing inside because they're like, wow, we're getting to learn something new. And honestly, as adults, I feel like we don't give our brain that pleasure very often. So my brain is supercharged, ready to get going and ready to keep moving forward, learning and growing as um, as I become a more proficient YouTuber. So are you ready? Are you ready to become an excellent communicator? Are you ready to master the English language? Are you ready to unlock your personal growth? And are you ready to supercharge your productivity? If you are, you've come to the right place. Please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time there's a new video. I plan on making new videos every week. Next week, our topic will be the six pillars of effective communication. So make sure you don't miss it. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope to see you again on my next video. Let's thrive together.